everybody, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest from the Pitch Perfect movies and the hit new CBS drama, So Help Me Todd, which has just been renewed for a second season. Please welcome to The Late Show, Skylar Aston. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yes, you too. Nice to have you here. Uh, and congratulations on So Help Me Todd. Thank you. It's a big hit. That's really, Thank you. that's, you know, you already, already know you're being picked up for another season. Yeah. I personally want them to pick you up for another season because I've looked at the minute by minutes. If you are, have a, an original show on a Thursday night, our ratings are better here. Well, we okay? got your back. <laughs> okay. We got you but covered. But there are weeks where you don't have original shows, and I'm here to say, get back to work, Skylar. I know. I'm sorry. Or my so parents agree with you. They, they, they are, are so to... help me, Todd. <laughs> yeah, my parents are always upset whenever they're like, what's going on? What, what's, what's going on? It's a rerun? Yes. But, you know, we just got more to film. That's sure. All. People got to sleep sometimes. That's right. Now, uh, you uh, are often known by people from the Pitch Perfect movies. Right. And do you still... <laughs> You know, you've done a bunch of stuff. Can you do you still get stopped on the street for Pitch Perfect? I do. I think it's it's it's, it's something that really struck a chord with people. Yeah. Um, How but, do they stop you? What do they do? They stop me by uh, oh, I didn't even realize I did that. <laughs> um, but no, they they stop me. They want me to do like the iconic like lines for a minute and things like that. But I feel like I'm also just like recognizable enough that people think that they know me like personally. So they they want to kind of you know uh, relate to me in some sort of a way. So they're like. Hey, did we spend time in Florida together? And I'm just always like, you know, I don't want to. You look like yeah, to yeah, some people, yeah. you look like the kind of guy that I spent some time with Florida with, but we were too <laughs> up to remember it. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And I have to go along with it because I don't want to name drop myself. I can't be like, well, I'm the guy from Pittsburgh. That's why you know who right, I am. Exactly. So I always just go along with it. And I'm like, yeah, Delray Beach. And they're like, oh, I was thinking more Tallahassee, but yeah, maybe actually. And I'm just in this like awkward conversation just because I don't want to, I can't tell people who I am. Wow. Do they then like say, hey, let me get you a drink? Anything nice? Oh, I've been to several family reunions because of it. You get, you get deep <laughs> enough. If you get deep enough, then you, you, there's no turning back. Let me ask you an important question. Mm -hmm. When did you first know you were a celebrity? <laughs> but maybe it's right now, honestly. I've never gotten so many applause breaks. Uh, yeah, I think I think it was just like the growing success of the movie, and yeah, yeah. I, I also was prepped for it because I did start out on Broadway. So I have had I've sure. had some sort of a fame in a bubble, yeah. and then I, I understood that. Then I ride the subway home just like everyone else, yes. and and you know they have the playbill, and they're like, that's not the guy from the thing. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, nothing like a Broadway theater. That's though. true. That's this true. is like we're very lucky to be able to do this show in, in a Broadway theater. Yes, and. Um, what, what is it you love most? Is it how glamorous the backstage is at a Broadway <laughs> yeah. theater? Yeah, people don't realize about Broadway shows. It's so beautiful, and the second you step into the wings, it's just like a building from the 1800s that it just is, mm. is completely crawling with mold. But I mm. think that's also, exactly. that's also the charm. The rats are unionized. That's right. <laughs> that's right. We support you know, the local uh, rat unions. How did you first discover musical theater? Uh, I actually auditioned for a local production uh, in my community of Godspell. Okay. Uh, written by uh, Stephen Schwartz. Wow, no applause break for Godspell. I'm very, very thank you. No, because oh, actually, oh, oh, we're we're really Jesus Christ superstars. Oh, fans really? Oh, day to, by day is fine, but it's a little soft. It's I understand soft, that in yeah. your in your favorite one, Jesus is a bit of a rock star, so I understand. Yeah. But I mean, oh, as but, he was, I get it. I get it. He was kind of a big deal, but sure. Oh, you don't get those abs from folk music. That's very true. <laughs> that's very true. There's no mandolin in 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 in, in his workout yes. routine. Mm -hmm. but, but oh bless the Lord my soul, bro. Come on. Let's move on. Yeah, now, I understand. Um, okay, now, now, as we said before, you're starring in the CBS drama, uh, So Help Me Todd, mm -hmm. um, hit drama. Come on. And, okay, so for the people out there who know, who is Todd and who is he so helping? So, uh, <laughs> Todd is a private investigator who's been stripped of his licenses for some illegal activity, and he now has to go to work for his high-power attorney mother, played by the incredible Marsha Gay Harden. There you go. Um, there and you go. so, yes. Get a, yeah. Or as I like to call her, Mar Gay Har. 
And so we, um, I really do actually, I can't believe I get away with it every day. And, uh, but yes, yeah, so we are a mother and son and we kind of have to navigate our fractured relationship but also navigate solving cases together. So there's a lot of bickering along the way. A lot of mispronunciations of apps and all the things that you do sure. with your mother and your son, you know. So here, here is a better picture. This is you and your actual oh, that's mother the real right mom. there. That's Meryl. And do you think, <laughs> Do you, do you think you two could work together? You, your actual mom? I think we could. I mean, we obviously love each other. So I honestly, traveling would be difficult because um, my mom is very particular about her diet and her packing and her overpacking. And she actually has an entire suitcase, I'm not kidding, of cantaloupes. Um, because she picks them at the market and is very... We literally went to France once with a whole suitcase of cut-up cantaloupe. Yeah, you can't, France. You cannot bring fruits or vegetables into I'm France. I'm aware. I'm aware. It was actually... You might as well just strap heroin around your waist. Well, speak, <laughs> speaking of that... Um, no, 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 no. No, it actually does escalate because she also travels with this non-dairy creamer. And for people who don't know, non-dairy creamer is a white powder. Uh, that she always carries around in this little, like, Tupperware thing. And so she's always, she's a huge flight risk because she's always stopped by TSA because what does that look like? And she's always pulled into some sort of a back room and my dad and I have to be like, no, you don't understand, she's not a drug lord, she's just very particular about her creamer. And, yes. and so I guess that would be the only risk in working with her because it would just be, it would take some time. And why cantaloupe? That's a trash fruit. Uh, by the way... <laughs> I, I, it's, it's sure, a trash it's, food. It's, it's, it's only put on buffets to fill out the table. It's filler. It is filler. Yeah. I'm a grapes, strawberries, blueberries kind of guy. Any melons is, is, I agree, is filler. This is why you're a star. That's all. Thanks. Skyler. <laughs> so Help Me Todd airs Thursday nights at 9 p.m. on CBS. Skyler Aston, everybody. We'll be right back.